Today, we find out what the best sour weapon in Grounded is. Similar to the first three videos, I will begin by going through the weapons used and the enemies I used them on. We will then move on to how I tested the weapons, before finally giving you the rankings and finding out if the Club of the Mother Demon will win again. Only 8% of you watching are actually subscribed. So do me a favor and check that you've hit the subscribe button. If you haven't, you might as well click it. It's completely free and you'll never miss another video ever again. To begin with, I gathered all of the tier three sour weapons in the game. I didn't include the sour staff or arrows as this is a melee test. In this video, I used 12 weapons. Those were the Club of the Mother Demon, the Antlion Greatsword, the Sour Battle Axe, the Fire Ant Club, the Tick Makawakawiwa, the Scythe of Blossoms, the Toenail Scimitar, the Widow Dagger, the Rusty Spear, the Tiger Mosquito Rapier, the Black Ox Hammer, and the Termite Axe. I upgraded all of these to level 9 Sour, with the exception of the Sour Battle Axe, which became level 9 Mighty. Next, we move on to the enemies I chose to kill. The enemies had to be weak to Sour. I didn't include bosses or enemies that don't respawn. I also removed passive enemies from the list. The final list contained 10 enemies and goes as follows. Orc Firefly, Moth, Orc Weaver Jr., Orc Bombardier Beetle, Orc Fireworker Ant, Orc Fire Soldier Ant, Orc Dust Mite, Orc Black Ox Beetle, Orc Ladybird, and finally, the Orc Tiger Mosquito. Yes, almost every enemy on the list is an Orc enemy. Huge shout out to Mudder Chudders, who provided me with the commands to spawn these enemies in, so that I didn't have to do the final defense 20 times. Now, let's get into the methodology. The methodology used in this video was identical to the one used in the best salty, best spicy, and best fresh weapon videos. Firstly, this test was conducted in a world on woe difficulty, with stamina drain enabled, meaning weapons that use high amounts of stamina don't get an unfair advantage. I also had all Milk Molar upgrades, as the people who are looking for the best weapon likely already have all of their molars spent on upgrading their character. The only mutation I used was Natural Explorer, and the only armor I used was the Aphid Slippers. When killing an enemy, the timer begins on the frame of video where the first hit registers on the enemy. The timer then ends on the first frame that you can see that the enemy's health bar is empty. I made a table using these times and scored the weapons with two methods. The first method is total time. This just means adding up all the times for one weapon, killing all 10 enemies and getting a total time. The second method I used was to score the weapons by giving them medals. This means that if a weapon is the fastest at killing a particular bug, it would get a gold medal. Second would get a silver, and third would get a bronze. In 12th, by a full minute, with a time of 3 minutes and 26 seconds, we have, say it with me, the Tiger Mosquito Rapier. This weapon is the worst weapon of every element in the game. It got zero medals yet again, and is still the worst weapon in the game. Enough said. In 11th, with a time of 2 minutes and 27 seconds, we have the Tick Makawakawiwa. This weapon also got zero medals. It makes sense that these two weapons are last, as they take the least skill to use, and are there to help newer players progress through the game without dying. The only positive that these two weapons have is they both have lifesteal. But, as I've mentioned before, you don't need lifesteal if you're going to be using a two-handed weapon because it does so much damage that you're barely going to get hit anyway. Coming in at 10th place, with a time of 2 minutes and 16 seconds, we have the Widow Dagger. This weapon also got zero medals. I've said plenty of times I'm not a huge fan of this weapon, and it's finished in the bottom half in every single ranking we've done so far. I, of course... Don't recommend that you use this. Making its way into 9th place with a time of 2 minutes and 15 seconds, only 1 second faster than 10th, we have the Black Ox Hammer. This weapon was able to get 1 silver and 1 bronze medal against the Ladybird and Black Ox Beetle, respectively. But, as I always say, the hammers are simply too slow, and I do not recommend using them as a weapon whatsoever. Next up in 8th place, with a time of 2 minutes and 7 seconds, we have the Rusty Spear. This weapon also got 0 medals. 
and didn't do well yet again. I will include this in a future ranged ranking though by throwing it, as I know the spear is more powerful when thrown. In terms of a melee weapon though, this weapon is poor and I can't really recommend it. In 7th, with a time of 1 minute and 53 seconds, making it the first weapon in the sub 2 minute club, we have the Antlion Greatsword. This weapon was able to achieve one gold medal against the Orc Dustmite, weirdly. This weapon just barely falls into the bottom half of the table, and I don't recommend it. There's no reason to have a sour weapon early in the game, so I wouldn't even recommend this as an early sour weapon to get. Coming in 6th place, with a time of 1 minute and 36 seconds, we have the Fire Ant Club. This weapon finished in the same position as it did in the fresh video, and it will always finish in a good position due to it being a two-handed generic weapon. This weapon got a bronze medal against the Orc Fire Soldier Ant and is a good choice if you have little to no resources. I still wouldn't use this for the final defense though, as there are five weapons superior to it. Dropping to fifth, with a time of 1 minute and 35 seconds, meaning it only just gets fifth place, we have the Toenail Scimitar. This weapon has been doing very well in previous Elemental videos, but in this one it just didn't do enough. It was able to get an impressive 1 gold, 2 silver and 3 bronze medals, but lost a lot of time on the Moth, along with the Orc Black Ox Beetle and Orc Ladybird. This weapon is a good choice and it is the best slashing weapon on the list. In 4th, with a time of 1 minute and 34 seconds, I know, these times are all one second apart, it is very close, we have the Termite Axe. Yet again, this weapon keeps impressing me with yet another very high ranking. This weapon got a singular gold medal against the Moth, but as usual, was very consistent against every enemy on the list. It's once again the highest one-handed weapon on the list, and I definitely recommend it for players who like to play with shields. Just barely making it into third place, with a time of 1 minute and 33 seconds, we have the Scythe of Blossoms. This weapon managed to get third place with absolutely no medals. This makes it the highest ever placement of a weapon without a single medal. This weapon finishes third, but I don't recommend it. If you want a chopping weapon, you might as well use the Termite Axe, because you can use a shield with it and it's only one second slower. If you like two-handed weapons, you're better off using the number one or two spot. The only reason to use this weapon would be for Apex Predator, which would boost its speed, making it slightly better. The moment of truth has arrived yet again. Will the club finally complete its trifecta, or will it be stolen from under its nose by the Sour Battle Axe? In second place, with a time of 1 minute and 10 seconds, making it 23 seconds faster than third, we have the Sour Battle Axe. This weapon cut it close and beat the Club of the Mother Demon when killing a few enemies, but couldn't quite beat it on overall time. This weapon did get 4 gold medals, 4 silvers, and a bronze, which is the most gold medals of any weapon on the list. The only reason this weapon lost is because it was a few seconds slower on the Orc Black Ox Beetle and the Orc Ladybird, as it beat the club in virtually every other category. I highly recommend this weapon, as it is a great choice for the final defense. The only problem is, you're gonna have to get past Schmechter to unlock it. That means in first place, with a time of 1 minute and 6 seconds, we have, of course, the Club of the Mother Demon, meaning it has completed the trifecta. This weapon got 3 gold, 3 silver, and 4 bronze medals, meaning it got a medal against every single enemy on the list. This weapon is insanely consistent, and as always, I can't recommend it enough. It quite literally was three times faster than the Tiger Mosquito Rapier, meaning I could kill every enemy with this weapon three times and still have 20 seconds to relax afterwards. Don't worry, I still have more parts to this series. The next one does indeed involve killing every enemy with generic variants of the tier three weapons. This video might take me a little bit longer as I'm gonna have to kill nearly 50 enemies 
with 12 different weapons, which is over 500 kills. It's going to take me a little while, so if there's a delay in that video, I apologise. Regardless, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like on it. I will see you in the next Grounded video. Have a great rest of your day.